Alright guys, I'm going to start this video out by saying that I'm doing a seminar with Leanna Carr in six days in Gainesville, Georgia at Iron Beast Gym. So if you're interested in attending that, I'm going to put the Facebook link to the event in the description and go on that and then click that you're attending because we're trying to kind of get a ballpark idea of uh, how many people are going to be there. And I think it's going to turn out to be a lot more than what it says on the Facebook page. But that will be this coming Saturday, the 24th, at 9 a.m. And if you wear an animal shirt, I think it's like you wear an animal shirt and you have to bring like canned goods or something. It's free. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look at it again. But I'll be doing that with Leanna Carr. And if you're interested in going, uh, please go to the Facebook page and check that out so but then what I'm going to show here are the first three sets I did yesterday with 745 pounds on deadlifts uh, I was thinking I was going to do 735 but I just I wasn't sure how that was going to fit on the bar so or it would have fit but I just I felt good too so I went to 745 and I did five triples with 745 pounds um, really wasn't too bad on the third rep of the third set I got kind of forward and that's why that rep was a little rough in particular but um, some people have been asking like are you using a narrower stance and I am. I've narrowed my stance to give my arms more clearance so I can like lock my lats in tighter um, so my like knees and legs don't get in the way and then I feel like I get more glute activation when I do that as well uh, and then other things I'm started uh, lifting my head up before each rep so normally I kind of keep like a neutral head position but now I look up before each rep and that just helps me keep the bar and you know closer and my weight back this was suggested to me by Brandon Cass and he pulls like 900 so I figured I'd try it and I'm gonna stick with that but uh, form feels dialed in uh, I'm actually not as fast as I used to be on a lot of my warm-ups like I used to pull my warm-ups much faster but um, I was not this strong so that's the problem when you don't use form and you're just relying on speed you'll get to a point where there's just a huge drop off where you hit a wall and you can't get past it um, this is why you'll see guys who aren't as strong as someone else but they'll pull their warm ups way faster and then they get to maybe like 675 or like 750 or something and kind of like hit a wall so I've tried to rely more on form now, and my, that's why people say, like, well, my, uh, my speed's not there anymore. But I'd rather be able to lift way more with efficient form and lock it out than to pull my warm ups and make them look really awesome. So that's kind of the difference from how I uh, deadlift now as opposed to back in the day. So it's worth it. But um, yeah, I trained at Downtown Dynabody, it's Peyton Cox Gym in Murray, Kentucky. So it was like a four and a half hour drive from Knoxville. Uh, I was on the road for nine hours yesterday, but it was worth it. That gym is sick, great environment, like dim lighting. I mean, stereos blasting, everything you need. You're gonna get results if you train there. I'm looking forward to going back. So uh, check his gym out and show your support for him because he's done a hell of a job for being 18 years old and opening a gym. Well, that's really all I want to talk about right now. I'm probably forgetting stuff because I always do. But um, I'll make some more videos coming up here. Train's coming along. After the five triples on deadlift with 745, I did uh, split squats with 385 I went up to, which is the highest I've ever gone, and it was, it was hard. A um, little shaky. 405 might be a little ways off because 385 was pretty rough. And then I did a set of 10 at 275 and a set of 10 at 245. And then I did nine sets of pull-ups, um, three sets with 100 pounds, three sets with 55 pounds, and then three sets of body weight. So it was a good day. And my strength is really going up. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like this will be my best meet yet. Uh, also been doing static holds, double overhand, and mixed grip. And I went up to 855 for two sets of mixed grip holds the other day. And I did 440 double over end, but easily I like, could have done way more. So I'm going to keep progressing on those and hopefully grip will not be an issue. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm not doing hook grip by the way. Like I, that is just horrendous. 
So I'm gonna be doing mixed grip, but here's the thing. Um, whereas normally I used to just kind of get down and grab the bar or whatever, I didn't think much of it. Now I'm kind of going like this. Like I'll get down and I'll crank my, uh, my wrist into position. So I'll grab the bar deep in my palm. I gotta grab it down here, deep, as deep as I can get it in my palm. And then I, I crank the bar into my hands and straighten my arms up. And that gives me a much more secure grip. Like it feels really sturdy. So that's something I'm gonna be doing at the meet and that should help. Cause if you just go like this, it starts kind of slipping on your calluses and pushing down. But if you really crank into it, if you start it deep here and crank into it, it's so much tighter. So that's something you guys can do if you're having grip problems, but um, yeah, mixed grip or, or hook grip, I should say. It sucks, man. That's it.